Welcome to our final instalment from this series of Extreme Winter Van Life Arctic Adventures. In today's episode, we leave Alison behind and head south towards our final destination of Bergen, with a few stops along the way. Sit back and enjoy another episode of stunning scenery and beautiful landscapes. So as we were driving along today, we realised that we were going to go past Low and Skylift. We did it a couple of years ago. It's a newish cable car that takes you right to the top of that mountain there. It's lovely. It's well worth a visit if you're in the area. Sadly, it's not open in the winter except on weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. And from February half term, it's open Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sundays. And then Easter, it's back to being open all week. So even though it's an absolutely super clear day and it would be epic up there, uh, sadly we can't go up today. Once everything started to defrost, we realised the wash wipe wasn't working. We pulled over to investigate and were greeted by this little fella. So we were trying to use the wash wipes, then we noticed this is obviously split and we were down at uh, minus 42. So we're going to try and get this repaired. After a few unsuccessful attempts at repair, we decided to move on with a spray bottle filled with screen wash. Thankfully, it was still quite chilly, so we didn't need to use the wash wipe very often. Hello. Hello. What a day. 
been glorious. Oh my god, it has. Uh, the weather. Can't believe the weather we've been having. The skies are so clear. Mm. The sunrises, the sunsets. Oh my goodness me, the scenery. It's been amazing. We always get good weather in Norway, but I think with the temperatures this time being quite low, um, and that usual sort of ar arctic sort of pink and blue hues that you get in the sky they've just been breathtaking and with everything covered in snow and all the trees just laden it's just been yeah. epic hasn't it yeah. um, we got to walk on water this afternoon as well didn't we we did yeah yeah it's a place where we um we've stopped a couple of times and swam there because there's a, a an area that you can just walk straight into and it's quite shallow and then it drops away um and we got there today and it, of course it was frozen but it was just crystal clear so you could see right to the bottom we weren't very far out but you could see to the bottom uh, and it was just epic wasn't it yeah it was amazing um, I tell you what it looked like it looked like a paperweight the rocks you mean and that sort yes. of thing yeah yeah yes. yeah um, yes it did uh, when you were looking down onto the riverbed yeah um, but there were rocks on the side and where the rock was um, probably about I don't know inch and a half two yeah, inches yeah. Of, of ice beautiful smooth glorious perfect see-through ice all the way around the rock and the same That's with the beautiful. stick as well a couple of inches of, uh, of ice on the on the stick itself it was just epic wasn't That's it fantastic and you anyway went, we're obviously parked up for the night I have no idea where we are we're in the mountains miles away from well, I know roughly where we are uh, vaguely where we are uh, but we're just in the mountains. The temperatures have dropped again, um, and um, there's quite a lot of snow outside. So we've got about a metre of snow either side of us. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. Slightly overcast this evening. Yeah, and um, we've still not fixed the uh, wash wipe. The wash wipe problem. Was, yeah, but none, we'll none of the things that we uh, attempted think of yesterday would work would or stick. Work. Or yeah, anything. because because of the angle of it, trying to get it. Um, knitted together correctly and then holding it there just wouldn't work with it so yeah. we'll come up with something else tomorrow absolutely super whilst most of this journey was on the E39 we turned onto the 569 to get to Dale although narrow and icy it turned out to be one of the most spectacular drives of the trip definitely one we'll do again we entered this rugged tunnel, it was almost as if we were descending into a mine. Single track with passing places, the only light was from holes cut into the rock, looking out onto the fjord beyond. The road continued to impress us as it wound its way along the edge of the fjord, going through tunnel after tunnel. We never fail to be impressed by the amazing feats of engineering that you see every day all over Norway.
Eventually we arrived in Dale, where the outlet has a lovely shop and a small museum dedicated to the history of the company and its ties to the Norwegian Winter Olympic team. We had a leisurely look around the shop and museum before heading onwards towards Bergen to look for a repair for the wash wipe. With warming temperatures and still a thousand miles until we get home, it was now urgently needed. Okay, so we've got some electrical uh, heat shrink wrap, so we're going to try this and hopefully... That's us. Hopefully, until we can get a proper fix, we've got a clean windscreen again, courtesy of these guys over here. Bill extra. Whose lunch break we interrupted. But uh, yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks ever so much. It's been epic, hasn't it? Um, really cold overnight. Tap doesn't work again. We had water for a day. Day or two. Day or two. Oh, no, it was two days, wasn't it? But this morning, no, it's frozen again. Um, but it is really, really frosty outside. Um, so it's obviously gone well below minus 10. For that to freeze again. Um, but we've got plenty of other water, so it doesn't matter. Um, we, we went to Dale. Oh, that road. The road through to Dale is just, it's narrow, it's been cut out. You've got these amazing uh, tunnels, no lights in them, but they've cut through the tunnel at the side. So you've got like little windows looking out into the fjord. It's, I don't know, every 20, 30 meters or so. Mm -mm. There were passing um, places in the tunnel. Which hopefully you'll see on there. I was driving, videos. I can't. <laughs> I did well. I know, but I don't like. I don't really like narrow roads. You so don't much, like do I? reversing, do you? If you have to, under pressure. But I'm fine. I can you do are. it. Anyway, uh, oh yeah. So the road to Dale was amazing. We bobbed into Dale and um, accidentally bought three jumpers. Yeah. The museum that was there. The jumpers are fantastic, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Love it. That will be in one of the videos. Um, <laughs> But museum was really interesting. It was actually. I was like, uh, I mean, yeah, I was like, oh, really knitting museum. It was absolutely fantastic, wasn't it? Well, they have provided the uh, Dale of Norway provide the jumpers for all the Olympic, all the teams Olympic teams since 1956. Um, 1956. Was it? 56. 56. Yeah. Um, and they they've got all not all the jumpers, but actually they might have had all the jumpers. Yeah, there. they were for every single yeah. year up until. Um, yeah. Which was really good to see how the fashions had changed. <laughs> there was a picture was a, though one from was 19. One was a bit wham, wasn't it? Yeah, one of them looked like George <laughs> Michael has escaped. Uh, so that was good. And um, and we got the windscreen washy doodars fixed. Yeah, called in at um, a garage basically and just said, look, have you got anything that will fit over the top of this? Just some flexi tube or something that we could put over and then sort of tie some um, cable ties or something onto it. Uh, anyway, we went rooting round and he came back with a couple of inches of um, heat wrap which he used for electrical stuff uh, I was like 
brilliant. Actually, I hadn't mentioned that, hadn't I, yesterday? Yes. But we don't have any uh, with us. Anyway, he gave us a couple of inches. He shoved the, the piece because it had broken off at two areas. So we had a tiny little little piece like that. Uh, and he shoved it inside to make sure that this size was all right and just gave it back to us. Um, so we just put that on, got the lighter, uh, shrank that onto the outside, tested it. Happy days. We have windscreen washers again. Yeah. And because everything's thawing out, because we haven't needed our wipers or uh, windscreen washers for uh, weeks, have we? No. Um, but now everything's thawing out everything's getting kicked up and it's filthy and you just cannot dry without it. You should see the state of the van. <laughs> yeah, oh. it'll, get, it'll get washed. It will. So. But we're in tonight, we are an hour out of Bergen. Mm -hmm. We're in Massfjorden. Massfjorden. Which Beautiful. we've stayed here twice before. It's yeah, well, gorgeous. We found it by accident nine years ago. Yes. Um, we were just driving down towards Bergen and we looked to our right and saw this and oh, let's go and have a look down there. We shot off in this direction and we ended up parking here and we only stayed for a couple of hours yeah. and just took a couple of pictures just looking out the fjord towards the open sea um, and it's just beautiful but we have stopped here because it's relatively close to, to Bergen it's ideal isn't it it is um, so yeah we are here and we'll show you some shots if I haven't already I'll show you some shots of where we arrived this evening it was stunning wasn't it the sunset was um, we arrived just after sunset here, but the light was just beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Cool. What's next on the agenda? Well, it's Bergen. Bergen tomorrow. I love yep. Bergen. Uh, I'm just looking not so happy about going to Bergen because, of course, it ultimately means we have to catch the ferry home. Yeah, well, at least to... So, hey. But, yeah, we'll go into Bergen in the morning. Yep. Have a trot round have a coffee. and uh, have a coffee, of course. Go have a coffee at our, our Hopefully room. find another cinnamon bun before we go home. <clears throat> the woman will be the size of a house at this rate. But anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Have a good evening. Take care. Hello. Here we are. Here we are uh, Floyen, at the top of uh, Bergen. So spin round. Bergen is down there. Spirit is just there, somewhere. <laughs> what a beautiful day for it! Look at it; it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's stunning, isn't it? So yeah, we've just come up on the uh, Floy Barnen, which is a is it a funicular? Yeah. Funicular? Yeah. Funic funicular. Really steep. Yeah. Very exciting. Uh, and oh gosh, it's just beautiful up here. It is. And it's really oh, calm today, oh, isn't the it? The snow's gone. Yeah. Yes. When we arrived, as you probably remember from 26 videos ago <laughs> it was um, snowing very very heavily and it's all gone um, even up here most of the snow's gone incredible so we've just come for a walk up above Bergen and uh, we're at the moment stood in the middle of a lake and it's absolutely beautiful there's obviously been people skiing on here as well you can see the marks on it skating rather skiing skating um, but yeah it's just stunning what a day amazing As we descend back into Bergen to catch our ferry, we will finish this video and this series. If you've enjoyed it, please smash the like button and if you don't already, please give us a follow. Also, feel free to share with friends or family who also might like us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.